everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I'm coming by today to share my my rendition of how to do fairy wings. Um, for those of you that don't know, I actually started out um, in polymer clay over 10 years ago um, doing fairies and mermaids. So I'm kind of retouching on a bit of that. So I've got together some wire. This is three strands of some 20 gauge, I believe it is, wire. And I've just twisted the ends together. Make sure when you do it that it lays flat. Okay. Then I've got some of the Angelina film. I've got some of the satin and some of the, this one's called Sunkissed. Okay, it's kind of a pinky, purpley, iridescent color. Alright, so I've only got enough to do one of the wings. I'm going to have to order some more. But that'll be enough for me to show the idea anyway. Okay. So I'm going to sandwich this in between the sun-kissed and the satin. And I've got just a tea towel, um, a cup towel. Alright. Get all the stuff on my desk out of the way. Then I have preheated my iron. And I've got it where it's on a Five. Uh, I can't tell you what that is. It's not as high as it'll go. And I don't have the steam setting on. Check it. Okay, as you can see, it presses together really nicely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repress right here on this end where I missed just a bit. It's a hot glue or something on my towel. It keeps sticking to everything else. Well, I'll deal with it later. Okay. So. Now I'll move my towel out of the way. It's actually the towel. I rest my arm on when I use my mouse. Okay, now you want to trim away the excess Angelina film, but you want to leave about a quarter of an inch or so gap or extra around the edge of the wire. I'm sorry if this is reflecting horrible for y'all because it is for me. Okay, down here at the end where the wires are twisted together. 
that part doesn't really matter. Okay, then here on the edges, I'm just gonna do a kind of a scallopy kind of something, depending on what you're doing, whether it's a fairy or a dragon or a bat per se, there's all different um, creatures that need wings, okay? Okay, now normally I would use a candle to do this next part, but I don't happen to have a candle. <laughs> Not sure how that is, but hold on. Okay, I finally found one. It's one that didn't burn well from the living room, but anyway. Now you're going to just slowly melt the edges. And yes, you can burn holes in the, in the wings. You can do this with a lighter as well, but it will leave a lot more black soot on the wings, even more than the candle does. Now we're just going to intentionally burn a few holes. Now you can burn as few or as much as you want. I personally like a lot. Alright. You can see the really pretty effect it gives. At this point, you can add with some um, uh -huh, with some gloss glaze. You can add some mica powders. You can add some glitters. There's all kinds of things you can do with it at this point. Whatever you use, you just want to be sure it's a gloss finish or or it's going to mat down the um, iridescent quality of the Angelina film. Alright, so I've just got, this is some, um, I know not everybody's going to have this, but use Perfect Pearls, use Pearl X, use whatever. This is some Aluma Dust in the sky blue. Okay, just just for purposes, <laughs> I'm going to actually grab, alright, this is the Primary Elements by Color Art, and it's the Stargazer color. Okay. So I'm just going to. No, I'm not. Okay, now just going to put a little of the Verathane out on my glass with just a sprinkle of the Stargazer. Mix those together.
Okay, and let that dry. Okay, then I'm going to grab a glitter from this Stampendous um, glitter Sensilament. And this one is the Multi Crystal Mix. Alright, you can see it's a really pretty. Okay, once again with the Varathane. Okay, this time I'm going to grab a sheet of paper so I can catch the glitter. there we've got some really pretty wings okay thank you all so much for watching please like share and subscribe the links will be listed below the video